at Zingaber Aficionale. I'm pretty sure I said that right. That's the edible ginger. One nice plant. Full sun. I know a lot of people say, well, maybe, maybe full sun for me isn't full sun for everybody else. Uh, but in the summer, this gets hit pretty good. I know a lot of people say to grow it in the shade. I have not had good luck growing it in the shade. I grow it in the sun. And that's what I grew. So, I eat this stuff all the time as a painkiller. I eat it straight. Especially when my back's killing me. I'll grab a piece <laughs> with filthy hands. Somewhere in like that size range. I eat a lot of ginger. So we just harvested this whole bucket. But I saw it'd be cool to do the there we go. Little clump saw climbing in on top of each other. Rhizomes do weird things. Pull the roots. They're fibrous, not very edible. Snap them all off. There's my usable product. And plenty of it. Plenty of this. I uh, had pretty good luck storing it, wrapping it up in a paper towel and putting it in a plastic bag and putting it in a crisper. I think you can wrap it up like that and freeze it too. But if you leave it on the counter, it tends to just kind of fade away. So, it dries up, wrinkles up, and it's useful. Unless you grind it into powder, which I don't know, I just I like the fresh stuff. So, here you go, ginger.